What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown. And yes, this is the Ash Said It Show. I appreciate all of the love and support, over 1,800 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this is possible without you guys, so I thank you so very, very much. We are well into the new year. Yes, darling, it is February, and I've got with me today founder and CEO of the Cozy Throsies and the Cozy Cozies, the wonderful Liz Holland. Hey, Liz. Hey, how you doing, Ash? (laughs) I am doing great. Great Thank you so much for joining us. I know that you are out there in beautiful California, darling. Yes. Loving it. Yes. <laughs> but we still get cold out here. I'm in the Bay Area and people think, oh, California is warm. No, it's not. It's freezing right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I, it, now would be an optimal time to, to have your cozy throsies and, you know, the kids will have their cozy cozies and, you know, everybody's good. Everybody's good. Yeah, that's the goal. Make everybody happy. Yes. (laughs) All right, Liz. So let's go into the origin story. How did this company start? Well, the name of my company is Sensory Product Design, and it's a nod to a thing called sensory processing disorder, Mm -hmm. which I have struggled with my whole life, but Mm -hmm. didn't get diagnosed with it until my early 50s. And it was like I had major health issues. I've had headaches every single day of my adult life. And, you know, it's very hard to function with a headache every day. Yeah. And... And all of these factors. I knew that, like, light in my eyes and smells could make my headache go from bad to worse. But I didn't Mm. know, like, anything about sensory processing disorder, which is a pretty complex neurological disorder on the autism spectrum. Mm. But it's very hard to diagnose, and it's even harder to treat because if you picture our five senses... Yeah. They, it, it, those are some of them, but it, if we just go, like, let's go to the sense of touch. Mm. Um, I have issues. Everything has to be soft. Mm. I cannot stand tags. Mm. There are kind of nuances between the senses of touch. And then in the way of warmth, my comfortable range is so, so, so narrow. Mm. So that's how this particular product came into um, fruition is that, I needed to be able to get warm quickly if I was freezing. It's mm-hmm. just like your whole body is tight when you're cold. You just yeah. can't get warm and your whole nervous system is everything tight. And then you yeah. finally get warm and you can go, oh, yeah, and you can feel the difference in your nervous system, whether you've even thought about it in the past. Right. Um, and so the beauty of these these adult size cozy throwsy mm-hmm. and a child size cozy cozy <laughs> we named that to uh mommy can i have my cozy cozy <laughs> <laughs> um so they have these hand and foot pockets and there's literally five layers mm-hmm. of really nice high quality non-filling fleece with polar fleece backing on the pockets and so the foot pocket flares around your ankles because i don't know if anybody else has experienced where you're Got your slippers on and your pants and your ankles are freezing in between. So we've got to make sure we take care of every part. Mm -hmm. And then the hand pockets have finger and thumb openings. So you can keep your hands in a pocket while you have a glass of wine or read a book. How many times have you read a book where your hands are out and they're freezing? (laughs) And so this solves the problem of, you know, we all know that if you you warm your extremities, Mm -hmm. It's the most efficient way to get warm. And for me, with this very narrow range of comfort, as I'm approaching too warm, which I kind of get pretty quickly in the cozy throsy, um, I pull out my feet or my hands or flip it off my shoulders. Um, Mm -hmm. I also have men that pull us up in that situation (laughs) where it's like, get everything off quick. And you can. It's just so easy. Boom. Everything's off. And then you're starting to get cold again, back on your shoulders, Hands and hands out. Some people live in them and they never take any part <laughs> out. <laughs> um, but that's the whole idea between for this product. It wasn't designed for people with sensory processing disorder. It was designed for anybody that gets cold mm. and would like to have the experience of being warm, first of all. And then there's an amazing sense of safety and like closing out the world yeah. is my experience when you know this world's gotten a little haywire mm. we've got all kinds of 
racial things, we've got global mm-hmm. warming, pandemics, we've got the politics going through, back to doodle every which way. <laughs> and so we all need a place, <laughs> something to, to like close it all out for a while. Yeah. And okay. that's, that's where it's, I really intended this first product to lo- line to reach much, much further than just people with SPD. Mm-hmm. But the vision for the company is to start shining a light on SPD and help particularly adults like me, um, because when I first was diagnosed, it was only kids, right. like uh, resources for children, which is wonderful. Let's have the children know about these issues early. I love that. Mm-hmm. But there was very little for adults. And so many of us were told, what's your problem? Get over it. Mm. And I certainly felt like I was supposed to get over it, whatever I was being hit with. Um, but if I got hit with multiple things, I'd be completely knocked down. Mm. Like, like literally couldn't move. There's Mm. fight or flight in a nervous system. And then there's freeze. That's the deepest level of trauma. Mm. And, you know, I've had, I had years of really big struggle, horrible divorce. My daughter got cancer. I couldn't Mm. function, and I was just like, what the hell? And I finally found a doctor who told me about this, and I was able to, as a lifelong inventor, my dad was an inventor, a very successful one, but he died when I was 20. Um, And as through this time, I was realized I'd been making stuff all my life Mm. to to help with these sensory issues, just to survive. But then when it was like, oh, I could really help people Mm. big time, especially people that have been told they're wrong for having, for for experiencing (laughs) their senses. (laughs) It seems so silly to me. But, you know, that's certainly what I heard my whole life until Mm. I changed it all up, let go of the past, did a hell of a lot of work and got to work on my company. And that hasn't been easy either. I always say, being an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart. No, but it's not. I don't know a single successful entrepreneur that said, "Oh, sure, it was easy, no problem." <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just never that. And way. when you have that vision behind it, like I've done a lot of things through my life. I, I'm a five-time international industrial design winner, but. I couldn't get a job for a long time. I, mm. I had done too many things or I was aged out. I don't know what it was, but mm. it, I had to do something. And when I connected that, what do I really have to offer this world? And the sensory stuff and the vision, the vision is what's driven me all this time. Yeah. You know, I've thought about licensing the products, but nobody else would really get the vision part. Mm. And as we get hundreds of thousands, millions of people having their cozies and they're going, oh, wait, nervous system? Yeah, I do mm. notice the difference. And I swear nine times out of 10, I hear people say, I either need this. I know somebody that needs this. I know somebody that might have this. I think <laughs> I have this. You know, I hear mm-hmm. these kinds of responses from people all the time that they connect with that weight. I have a really strong reaction to smells or whatever. Um, to what do I do? Oh, you know, and is it is it debilitating or is it something you have to solve or mm-hmm. it's just irritating? You know, mm-hmm. that whole spectrum comes into play too. You know, smells that bother me don't smell don't necessarily bother somebody else that has strong SPD with smells. It, mm-hmm. That's why it's so hard to diagnose number mm. one and then treat the only way we can treat it in my mind is to not experience it in the first place so mm. if you have the if you know what your triggers are and you can kind of ha- have devices or or systems in place to try and not experience the trigger then you don't have anything to solve right. it but you also have have to have ways to solve it because life happens the world happens you mm. get triggered um so then what do you do and, you know, for me, the cozy cozy is really literally one of the things I can do to settle any emotion, any of my senses. Mm. And emotions, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we're talking about emotions here, Liz, Valentine's Day is coming up. All right. It's, com- yeah. it's just around the corner now. Yeah. And a little birdie told me that. 
you guys are doing a little something special for people. Let me talk about well, we that a little. Are, we're going to do a mommy and me package. Um, and that's the cozy, cozy, and the cozy, cozy. Okay. Um, the cozy, cozy, it, people are on our Kickstarter campaign, and, and for people to know, it's not like you're going to get a present on Valentine's Day. For Kickstarter, you pre order it, and we get into production as soon as possible, and you will get it in a couple months, probably. Gotcha. Um, uh, and, but things are going very well, and we are. We funded in five days. We're at 150 percent now funded, okay. so things are going very nicely. Yay! So yeah. you know they are happening for sure. <laughs> um, but for the promotion, we wanted to have you know Mama and me. And the thing that that I feel like people are kind of missing about the cozy cozy is we it, we almost called it the magic napper because the kids that have it. I have a couple kids in South Florida. Mm. love it had to get a second one for daycare and then everybody in daycare said oh, i want one of those <laughs> and so what what, the, what she did Grammy, can i have my cozy cozy and she goes and wraps herself up and puts her feet in and, and she's like <laughs> go oh go get on the couch i'll read your book in a minute and then you come out and she's sound asleep and you've got time to do stuff <laughs> <laughs> and they said but it's a, our little secret you can't tell them yeah because yeah. they're not <laughs> pretending to go to sleep they just want to wrap themselves up and you're like cool <laughs> cool <laughs> You can wrap yourself up and read your book, or you can get some things done. Whatever works for you. I love it. So it's a wonderful combination. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's more toddler, and mm. it fits up to four foot, I want to say four foot, four, four oh, six. Wow. Um, and then the bigger one starts fitting at five foot. So there's only a oh, few wow. inches in between, and a, certainly a kid that's feeling too tight in theirs, um, you know, could start wearing the older one right but but you know we've got a few more inches on it too depending on how you know if they don't mind being a little bit tight depends on you know the kid i love it so liz where is where can people go to go ahead and reserve their cozy throwsies and their cozy cozies uh it's on kickstarter Mm -hmm. and if you look up Sensory Product Design or Cozy Cozy, and that's spelled C-O-Z-Y, C-O, and then Z-Z-Z. And the Cozy Throwsy is, you know, Cozy Throw, Z-Z-Z. So if you look up any of those things, you'll find it on Kickstarter. Um, I'm sure we can provide a link somewhere yeah, on this podcast, too. Yeah, we'll definitely post that. It's, it's more of that double the cook H T T I love it. Liz, thank you so much for coming through today and chatting with us. Love your product. Looking forward to seeing what is coming in the coming months because I know that you guys have a lot of stuff cooking. You know, we can't really talk really about sure certain things yet, but I would love for you to come back and share that with my audience. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome sauce. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. And Definitely. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.